Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography and today I'm going to show you how to blur the background of a photo. So we're going to use this image here and the first thing you're going to do is duplicate your background layer. So on a Mac it's actually Command J and on a PC you're going to hit Control J and duplicate your layer. It's created this new layer here and just for this tutorial I'm going to name it Blurry Background just so we know what we're working with. And the next step is to clone out your subjects. And you're probably not going to want to do this. I know a lot of people think this is tedious. The reason I clone them out is because when you go to blur your layer later, Photoshop doesn't know where your subject ends and where your background, background begins. All it knows is pixels. So um, your subject pixels and your background pixels, when they go to blur, are going to blend together. Uh, which is not very nice and it makes it really hard to achieve a realistic look. So really to make it look believable you're going to need to blur or you're going to need to clone out your subjects from the background. The background will need to be subject free. So to do that you can use this clone stamp, that's what I do, and um, it's just over here on your toolbar underneath your brush and you're going to clone out your subject. So using the clone stamp to select the part that you want to clone, you're going to hit your option on a Mac or your alt on a PC and it's going to come up with this little bullseye and you're going to select the part of the image that you want to clone and hit your mouse and then let go and move it over and hit your mouse and it's going to copy that onto your um, image. So that is great. I'm just going to kind of go up here and start cloning around um, them. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to even look all that believable. All it needs to do is have similar pixel colors to your the rest of your background. So I'm going to let you do this. I'm going to do mine and I will meet you back here in a minute. All right, we're back and here is my background. Again, it's not perfect. It doesn't need to be. All it needs to do is have similar colored pixels to the original background. So the next thing you're going to do is add your blur and to do that you can come up here make sure you're, you're still on your blurry background layer and come up to filter and select blur and for this one I'm going to use the Gaussian blur but you can use whatever kind of blur you're looking to, to do. And you can adjust this to whatever you'd like so again the radius if you don't want it so blurry you can have a lower radius and if you want it more blurry you can boost that up a bit. Um, for mine I'm going to use about 8. Uh, pixels and I'm going to hit OK and there we go. So now it's applied the blur. Here's the without the blur and then here it is blurry. It's not a huge change for me but that's the way I like it. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is add a layer mask and to do that you're going to click on this little icon down here in the corner. That's the square with the circle in the middle and hit that button and it's going to add a layer mask. Now the next step is we need to invert the layer mask which means you need to turn this white um, color to black and to do that on a Mac you're going to hit command I and on a PC you're going to hit con or you're going to hit control I and it's inverted that. So now what we need to do is paint the blur onto the image. So we're going to select a brush, a white brush actually because our um, background here is black. We're going to use a white, which is the opposite, which will show our blur. And you can change your opacity and your, the size of your brush to whatever you'd like and start blurring your background. Um, and the closer you get to the subjects, you're going to find it runs over a little bit. That's okay. If you want to make a smaller brush um, for closer to, that works too. And I'm going to show you a way. Oops to brush off um, any mistakes that you made if you go too far onto their skin or, or whatnot. So here I'm just going to finish blurring around them so that it's all even and equal. And now all you have to do is switch your brush back to black, um, your foreground color back to black, and you can go over um, sections that you want to paint back into the picture. So Again, it can be very tedious if you want to take the time to make it all perfect and beautiful for this tutorial. It's not so important for me, so I'm just going to kind of show you the gist of it. 
and paint everything back on that I want back on. Almost done. Just gonna fix this part just a little bit. Oops. Perfect. And for and for this, that's good enough for me. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can you can drill down and do it as perfectly as you'd like for your image. So that's how I create blurry backgrounds for my photos. Um, I would do a little before and after. So there's the before and there's the after and it's just a little bit more realistic again if you use the clone stamp and blur out or and clone out your subject before you blur. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions you can email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.